I'm trying to paint! Today I am painting orcs and I am doing the new flash kits. The paints I'm going to be using will be Fenrisian Grey, Evil Sun Scarlet, White Scar, Lothurn Blue, Ironbreaker, Jokiro Orange, Abaddon Black, Deathworld Forest, Kaldor Sky, Rune Lord Brass, Nuln Oil, Dornstone, Ushahapti Bone, and Flash Kits Yellow. To start with, I sprayed my flash kit with a Chaos Black spray. The first paint I'm going to be using will be my Death World Forest, and I'm basically just trying to get this on the skin. I'm starting with the skin as it's like the underneath layer. It's underneath all the clothes, underneath everything else. So to get it out the way it makes it easier to do the above layers. Next, I move on to my Keldor Sky. For this, I here I'm just doing the loincloth. Just to get it out of the way is it's hard to reach place behind the gun. Then I move on to my Ushabti bone to do the trousers and the giant skull on his boss pole. If you want to um, paint it without the gun attached, that's perfectly fine as it attaches really easily. It's literally just one arm joint. Um, yeah, I do his teeth and these bandages on his gun handle and his tiny, tiny sword handle as well with the Ushabti bone. Then I go back to my Keldor Sky and I'm doing his coat. In some areas it's hard to get to, so make sure you look around the model, like you can just suddenly see part of the coat through like a gap in the model, so give it a good look all around. Then I go on to my Rune Lord Brass, this I'm using for the crossbones on his boss pole, as well as various parts on the gun, as there's going to be a lot of like silver metallic color around the gun, so it's good to just add a bit of variety by using Rune Lord Brass here. Then I go over to my Iron Breaker, which is my silver color, and I'm basically just using this for the shoulder pads, the little tiny perch that little squiggly's sitting on, and the gun muzzles, as well as various parts of the gun, and yeah, all the obvious metallic parts, such as like here, the sword, the robot hand, the handle of the gun. Um, Don't forget the little steel toe caps on his boots, like I keep overlooking those, but yeah, they're there. Um, little squiggly here, he's got to be painted red, and I'm also doing the gun casings here red, as well as just various accessories and ribbons. And then I go over to my flash kit yellow, and I'm just only doing a little bit of the yellow, I'm just doing the rim of the hat and the little ribbon hanging out the side. Then with my Lothran blue, I'm doing the pipes under the gun, as well as the little squiggly's eyeball. Then I go over to my shade, and the shade I'm using today will be Nuln Oil, and basically just apply this over all the metallic parts of the gun, to get it in all the gaps, get it on his teeth, on the yellow, um, on the boss pole, because it works great with the bone, and do a nice even layer on the sword, you don't want it to be too blobby there, and get it in all the gaps and cracks on the coat, though don't just splat it all over, because the main color of the coat is still going to be the Keldor Sky. And then just get it like in the lines of the gun casing. Don't cover up the whole red. Then we go back to our Death World Forest to touch up where the wash went over. And then we're using a combination of Death World Forest and White Scar. And we're doing almost 50-50, a little more green than white. And this is just to give a lighter green color for adding onto the raised muscle area of our orc skin. And then I'm going over to my Iron Breaker. And I'm just doing a dry brush, so I'm just wiping off the excess on a tissue there. And then I just side to side wipe the paint kind of thing, whatever is left of it on the brush, onto the model. And the raised areas will just pick it up. I also did it on the Rune Lord brass parts, and it made them more silver. I don't necessarily recommend it, but it's your choice. Then I was just touching up the Cowdor Sky, and then I'm going onto my Flash Kids Yellow to touch up the yellow parts. Then we go over to our Usha Hapti bone. And now here I'm just neatening up all the bone, but you have a choice here. I'm doing quite a solid bold color on the skull of the boss pole, but you can just do a dry brush if you want to to pick up the raised areas again, and it will work out just as well. Um, so yeah, I just go around the model, picking up like the nails, the teeth, the ribbons, and then I go over to my Evil Sense Scarlet, getting all the accessories, touching up the um, gun casing here. I was flicking it towards the edge there, as to not get it in the crack. And a little squiggly again, being red, he needs another layer. Lothurn Blue. This is just where a little squiggly, it's a real shame he got some shade in his eye, so I just get it out there for him. 
And then I'm touching up my shoes here with Abaddon Black. Make sure they're nice and polished. Frame Reasoning Gray is my highlight color for the coat here. I didn't want to go for Lothan Blue as a highlight because it would be too bright, so I went for Frisian Gray. Joke Hero Orange, I'm highlighting all my Evil Sin Scarlet parts. A little squiggly. Oh. Um, and yeah, and the gun casing. Just gotta get these lines on all the edges here. Then I go over to my Dorn Stone. This is just to highlight the boots because they're black and gray is a great highlight for that. White Scar. Here I'm just highlighting my bony parts, like the skull and the teeth. Really brings the like the definition out on the skull there. Though if you do the dry brush, you may not need to um, do a white scar highlight on the skull. I also here, I'm just pointing out that I've done a highlight of white scar on the metallic parts of the gun. And here I'm just doing the middle of Squiggly's eye, because I want it to be more glowy, more like mysterious. Though with my Abaddon Black, I'm just trying to paint with the fine tip of my standard brush here. Um, I'm just painting on a little target here. If you can't do it, just paint a pupil. It doesn't really make too much difference. There we go. Then I'm using my White Scar and Death World Forest again, and I'm doing another mix here. Though this time it's more like two parts White Scar, one part Death World Forest. It's a much lighter color. Um, and I just mix these together, and this is just to highlight all the muscle areas here. Now, I do my orc skin quite pale. Obviously, if you want it greener, use more green. It's entirely your choice. You can figure it out yourself if you choose to. And I just like do the face here and get all those like definitions, give it more layered, more detail. And then I'm onto my Evil Sin Scarlet, and this is just to dot his eyes here. Nice and carefully. If you do mess it up, it only takes like another blob of Death World Forest and a bit of wash and you're back to where you were. Um, so yeah, there is our completed Flash Git model. If you want to see more of my videos, you can click here. And don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.